Hey everybody, so um, I hope everybody is doing well. Um, I am here talking about something that I have never pretty much talked about on my channel. Not pretty much, but I haven't talked about it ever on my channel. Um, and as you can see by the title, this is about spiritual feminine care. Okay, taking care of your bodies. Um, we talk about taking care of our spirits, our emotional bodies, um, you know, our spiritual bodies and all of that. But I just want to specifically talk about taking care of your spiritual feminine body. You get what I'm saying? Okay. So, um, first of all, I hope everybody's doing well. These are for my ladies. And also, I thought it would behoove me to make this video, it would behoove you guys for me to make this video because I know there are um, a lot of um, younger um, ladies who um, who watch me but it doesn't matter if you're younger you're older or whatever you know certain things I learned when I was older you know so it's okay it doesn't matter what age you are as long as you're learning and you're knowing and you're applying these things to your life and you don't have to you can just watch the video and decide like hey well that's her you know because free will teachers own I'm just putting some tips out there because I know um, somebody out there will appreciate it and they need it okay all right so I don't you know want to beat around the bush or nothing like that but the first thing goes um, if you are uh, conscious of uh, taking care of your um, you know your spiritual feminine body you know spiritual feminine care okay hygiene Spiritual hygiene, feminine care, whatever you want to call it. You guys know what I'm talking about. Um, it's imperative that um, you go through a uh, place, a time. Like if you were somebody who was sexually active and either you were in a relationship and you're not with this person anymore or you were somebody who were who was basically, you were free. You were just, you know, doing you, you know. Um, it's imperative, in my opinion, for you to go through a phase of cleansing yourself, right? Spiritually and physically cleansing yourself, okay? Um, well, how can I do that? Well, you know, there are sacral um, uh, meditation. I'm always tongue-tied, y'all. Sacral meditations that you guys can do. Your sacral chakra is your sexual chakra, right? This is where your creativity comes from. You'll notice also that when you start healing your sacral chakra, that you will have a lot of sparks of creativity come in. There will be things that you will begin to realize that you can manifest, that you can take, because that's also your sexual center is also where you can manifest as a woman. I can't speak for men. I'm just saying for women, this is where you can you can create, you know what I'm saying, um, and things like that. You want to develop a very healthy relationship with you, with your body. This is your body. A lot of people speak against masturbation and things like that. Masturbation is nothing wrong with it if you're not overdoing everything in moderation. You feel me? You don't have to be busting it, you know, several times a day or even several times a week. But you do need to connect to your body. You do need to feel comfortable with your body. Um, some people, you know, were not groomed this way. So this is something that a lot of us have to learn. You know, you know what I'm saying? So, um, anywho, going back to what I was saying, you want to make sure, like, if you, like I said, you broke up with somebody, whether this person was your karmic, whether a, a toxic partner, um, whether you experienced, you know, um, dealt with having STDs or things like that, or, um, you know, you just was out there living free, free, you know, we all been through that, live free, you know, you want to cleanse, you want to cleanse yourself spiritually, you want to cleanse yourself physically, and you want to cleanse yourself emotionally, okay, um, you know, emotionally is, is part of the process of healing, so you can in and understand why you were doing certain things, why were you sleeping so much, were you just having fun, because nine times out of ten, there's always a deeper reason why people be out there just Brain and wide below and everything because I went through it heavy in my 20s um, so you just want to be in touch with why you did certain things you know what I'm saying you want to be one you want to be comfortable with this you want to you want to be grounded in reality of why you were doing certain things and you know like that okay okay so 
-hmm. when we talk about that, that is the emotional, spiritual part. Um, we wanted to connect to our higher self. And in my opinion, um, you know, you can't be influenced by energies when you are starting on the path of connecting to your higher self. You feel what I'm saying? Um, also, when we talk about cleansing and clearing yourself, talking about taking care of your yoni, taking care of your, your, your body in general, your yoni is very, very, very precious and you have to treat her like that. You feel me? Okay. Um, so you want to consider now me, this is just my opinion. This is just my opinion. You don't have to listen to Indigo. But in my opinion, when it comes to your yoni, the only thing that should ever go inside is a penis. If it ain't a penis, it shouldn't be going inside. I don't use tampons. I use pads. I surely do. I don't do the pearls. Now, I will steam. I, steaming is very, very beneficial. Yoni steams, oh my God, they're very beneficial. They have so many um, women out here that are selling Yoni steam. So you guys do your research on that. I do. Um, if you would like to know what company I go through to get my Yoni steams, drop me a comment or you know DM me or whatever, and I'll let you guys know. But... Um, there is only one company that I purchase my Yoni Stinks from. Now, with anything that I always tell you guys, it is important to set your intentions when you're talking about steaming, okay? When you're talking about Yoni Steaming, set your intentions because Yoni Steamings are spiritually and they're physically beneficial. Spiritual in the sense you set your intentions, you're clearing away any um, debris, if you will, from past lovers, from past trauma because it's stored in your sacral chakra. So you want to clear all of that out. You set your intentions why you're doing, or before rather, you, you need before you start boiling your herbs. Um, you set your intentions strongly on your herbs, on what you want these herbs to do. Also, when you're doing physically, they're going to be clearing out over time. You know, it's not just going to take one um, steam. Um, you know, and I believe you can do them weekly. You know, I would say do them weekly, you know, but you know, teachers on you have to go with the floor of your body. But I would say do them weekly. Um, but, um, you know, they're cleaning away anything that's not supposed to be up in there that it can reach, that the steam can reach. Um, so, you know, you're going to get cleared out. A lot of women have lost piece or, or fibroids and just different things that have been in there. You know, people who have, you know, we're grown, you know, people who have, um, have relationships and, you know, come all of that stuff comes out. When you talk about yoni steams over a while, you know, they have the yoni pearls, which you insert inside of your vagina, vagina, your yoni and um, whatever. But personally, like I said, I don't want I don't do the yoni eggs. I prefer the yoni detox steams, yoni steam. Sorry. So that's just me, you guys. Now, if you are somebody who does not have any um, type of like, you know, you don't have a yeast infection, you don't have STD, you don't have BV, you don't have none of that. You have been to the to the doctor and you are clear. When you're talking about cleaning your body, first of all, I don't care, you guys, every single day, every single day, you need to be cleaning your body thoroughly from head to toe, every single day. Ain't no skipping, okay, like if you're ill, or you're down for the count, I get it. You know, that's, I mean, that's different. But we're talking about fully functional, healthy women. There is no way that you should not be washing your ass, your ponani, your underarms, your everything. Because everywhere you sweat every single day, okay? You have to clean yourself every single day. Don't you get lazy on me. Don't you, don't do that. Now, um, since I've been younger, you guys, like, because, you know, hygiene was very important like you know growing up and so my grandmother always enforced us me and my siblings to take baths and stuff at night before we get in bed like when we stayed with her which was often like we had to get in the bath like period before we went to bed so i do believe in bathing before you get in bed especially if you have a man you know you really want to do that i mean you're taking a bath early on in the day and then you know you're going to be still clean but you need to be really freshened up i would suggest doing it twice a day that's just me. If you are sexually active, then, you know, you might want to consider bathing twice. And I, and I, you know, just 
just might want to consider that okay if you have a healthy sex life and you just might want to consider doing it after and then doing it in the morning you know because it's refreshing anyways to take a shower in the morning and then take it at night it's just cleanliness and plus it's a spiritual cleanse showers are spiritual experiences um for those who are really connected you know that when you're in water a lot of us get downloads your girl gets downloads spiritual downloads and i know i'm not the only one you know so um you guys definitely want to make sure that you're you're cleaning yourself um off daily okay i'm not even gonna fuck around daily clean your ass every day but if you can do it um twice a day in the morning and night then do it like that now, like I said, going back to what I was originally saying, like if you're somebody who doesn't have any type of issues down there, then you don't need soap to clean your yummy. You don't. If there's no issues now around the outer parts of your yummy, yes, you do need to use soap because you sweat and everything like that. But on the inside, you know, in the inside of your yummy, you do not need to put soap there. You don't need to. You don't, babies. You don't. You can just use, um, I would say, you know, hot, warm water, if that makes sense. You know, warm water, but if you can take it a little up above the warm water spectrum with a towel or even using your hands, you know, it's yours, y'all. I'm oh, done with grade one module one. Okay. Okay. Mom. I'm almost time for two. two and three. Are you still in school? In class? Yeah. Okay. I just know. Bye, bye, great one. Oh, okay. you finished double. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, let me do this video while he in class and then he busted. Okay. Thank God he's young. Woo, Lord Jesus. Okay. His room is in the back. Okay. So, um, yeah, you guys, you do not need soap down there. You need soap everywhere else. You know what I'm saying? Except for like your ears or something like that. But you know, but you don't need soap in your inside of you. You don't it's self-cleaning you don't need it and it's not going to smell it's not going to stay in that sink once you put the soap there and clean it it's not like you know later on it's going to smell exactly like that it's going to be fresh but you don't need it and then there's so many chemicals and fragrance fragrances that can really irritate you and really fuck up your ph balance you guys and that's something you do not want to do you know use soap on your back your backside yes definitely now when we talk about let me just say this real fast um, because it's easy if you're using soap on your backside, it's easy for the soap to travel right there. They right next thing, you know. Huh? I would suggest, and this is for me, this is what I use. Um, I use baby soap to clean my bottom and the V part, the outer V of my yoni. I use baby soap. I use baby soap to clean my ass. I use regular soap to clean everywhere, everywhere else on my body. Everywhere else in my body, I use regular soap, okay? Um, every single day, you guys. And when you are cleaning yourself, everything is about setting intentions. Set your intentions on um, what you want to cleanse off of you. Especially if you've had a not-so-good day, you want to make sure you're setting your intentions to clean off the residue, the resi residual effects of whatever your day consisted of what made you irritated you have to be around somebody whose energy is not aligned with yours who has some little funky energy did you have to be in a, an environment where the energy is isn't aligned with the energy that you you know that you prefer to be in you know so you just want to set your intentions with that um let's see so um i'm just suggesting this and like i said you don't got okay why do you look so low <laughs> Um, this is just a suggestion, but if you can make it your business to do a, um, and you guys know I sell them, so, um, and that wasn't a plug, that was just to let you guys know, but, um, to do a, um, uh, sea salt bath once a week, um, to just clear your, your aura, to clear away any residual energy that, or, or, or just emotions for, you know. Or whatever it is that you have on you you can do that once a week now if you don't want to purchase one you can use salt you can add a few drops of um, like lavender essential oil and you know damn I don't have it with me but I have like I had found at this um, this Mexican uh, grocery store right around the corner where I used to live I found like little packs of rose petals um, so I would mix, I mix that when I make my sea salt baths. Um, I call them my seeds, what I call them? 
my spiritual self-love bath. That's what I have. Spiritual self-love. Because it's clearing you off spiritually. It's doing all of the work of a spiritual bath. But it's also ushering in that self-love. That's the intentions that I set on my baths when I'm making them. Um, but if you want to make your own, like I said, you can use sea salt. Sea salt you can purchase from anywhere. Like a Dollar Tree, Dollar Store, Dollar General for a dollar. And you get a, a, a nice size of sea salt. You want to set your intentions. You want to meditate over it because you want to set your intentions. The longer you set it on there, the stronger the effect will be on what you're making. So you make sure you want to do that. You can, like I said, find some rose petals, some dry rose petals. The ones I found was like in a little pack. I bought a bunch of them. They were like $1.99. So if you want to check like a Hispanic store, because that's where I got mine from, you can go ahead and do that. Um, let's see. So, you know, setting your attention. So... When you take a, a spiritual bath, for me, like I said, you take a bath first. Take a shower, I'm sorry, first. Clean yourself. Clean your physically clean yourself, and then you want to sit in the tub. Now, be careful putting too much um, essential oils in there because you don't because it's, you're sitting in the tub. You feel me? So you don't have to put a whole lot in the tub, you know, um, in your bath. Um, so, yeah, so that... Um, you know, and also you guys take care of yourself in general. Always devote time to taking care. It's part of like your self-love routine by just taking care of yourself every single day. Every woman should be devoting time to taking care of themselves. Especially us, a lot of most of us are in, you know, at home. You know, we have time to do this. So make sure you're doing this. Clean yourself, you guys. I made my own um uh, facial scrub like exfoliant and it's not my skin is very sensitive and it is not affected in a negative way at all you guys so if you're interested in wanting to get some of that for me let me know i've just made it for myself and i've done a couple i've done two different um trials and errors you know but the first one was okay but this the way i made it this time is my skin is y'all probably can't see but oh my god it has like even a natural glow to it it's like it's really, really nice. Um, so you guys make sure you take care of yourself. Um, soak your... F Ooh, that's the candle I want. I'm watching J-Baby's... Um, I heard she's on my TV. What are you? Sorry. Um, but you take care of yourself. Soak your feet. If you can't, um, you know, if you can't you can't afford or whatever for whatever whatever you can't get there's always substitutes you know i was up in a grocery store and i bought me a big bag of epsom salt so you know you set you soak up um set your intentions on this epsom salt soak your feet in epsom salt you know make like a scrub on your feet if you want to do that if you can't go to the nail shop make a scrub you know mix the epsom salt and some oil or something rub it on your feet really really good wash it down then you know get you a pair of socks Put some Vaseline and lotion on your feet. Make because ain't nothing like some soft feet. Period. You know, and you can do that on your skin. You know, get a scrub. I also have a um. I purchased it from Ross. I have a um, a brush. You know, you can do that. That helps clear away. You know, bacteria or whatever that's on you. You know, use that. It makes your skin so soft. You know, lotion down. Put you know your sprays on there. Just don't put them down in your your yoni area. Don't spray no perfume down there, y'all. I don't care what people used to do. Don't. It's no point in doing that. You spray everywhere else, but you don't have to spray in your yoni. Your yoni is meant to smell the way it's supposed to smell. And to be honest with you, you know, men like the natural. I mean, they don't want funky shit. They want it fresh. The fresh, natural smell is where it's at for the men. I'm just saying that's what they want. I like it. They like it. Uh, let me see. Is there anything else? I'm pretty sure if there's anything else, I will put out a part two, but I am starting somewhere. I hope this has been beneficial. I love you guys. I love you guys so very much. Okay. Peace. Take care, you guys.